abstracted forms with sculptural flourishes, kaleidoscopic textures, and chaotic assortments of cubes and lines. This is the art of John Paul Riopel. John Paul Riopel is a Canadian painter and sculptor from Quebec who used a unique application of paints using primarily his palette knife. The textures created from this application result in a unique use of the medium. John Paul grew up in the cold frontier of Montreal, Canada. He began his exploration of the art world when he was 10 years old, studying drawing and painting under the tutelage of Henri Busson, a prominent sculptress of the area. When John Paul turned 18, he began studying engineering, architecture, and photography at the Polytechnic School. Eventually, he shifted his attention to the arts and studied under Paul Emile Bourdois, an abstract painter and leader of the Automatist Group who Riopelle would later join. The Automatist Group's manifesto revolved around using surrealist techniques and an emphasis on incorporating automatic drawing, a technique that allows the artist to sublimate unconscious thoughts and shine light on the inner world of the mind. After taking an interest in André Breton's book, that Riopelle began his abstract painting experiments in earnest and was one of the original signatories of the Refuse Global. The Refuse Global was a manifesto created by prominent surrealists that rejected the established norms of Quebec society, stating God is dead and calling for an untamed need for liberation. The manifesto cried out for resplendent anarchy and criticized the Cassocks that have remained the sole repositories of faith, knowledge, truth, and national wealth. This document encapsulates the brewing cultural sentiment that something new was needed, and surrealism was both a product of this and a solution. One of the primary accomplishments associated with John Paul Riopelle's career was his experimental application of the painting medium. John Paul would apply paint directly from the palette knife, spatula, or trowel onto a large canvas. This would not only speed up the process and imply movement, but also results in layers of texture that give his paintings a three-dimensional feel, almost like a sculpture. As his renown grew, Riopelle continued to refine his unique take on non-objective art until 1946, when he married American painter Joan Mitchell. Their relationship was said to be tumultuous and fueled by alcohol, and they were each other's muse. Joan Mitchell died in 1992 and is the subject of one of John Paul's highest praised work, Homage a Rosa Luxembourg. John Paul Riopel has emerged as one of the premier surrealists of the 40s, responsible for pushing the envelope and further popularizing the genre. He is considered one of the most important Canadian artists of the 20th century.